do you macerate your uh, Rivola Giella uh, with the skins at all? Just the wood stage. Okay. Yeah. At the, and there, you have been your... Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I'm your host, Matthew Horky. So we're here in Friuli, Venezia Giulia. We're, we're so excited. This is our first day here. Like you, you guys know, we've been really excited to come here, taste the wines. And our first visit is with a very special producer. We have, uh, we're here at Ronca di Giella. They are very famous for reviving this ancient variety of Schiopatino. This is the uh, Ronca di Giella, Schiopatino di Giella 2011. This is their newest release. They're really big on aging the wines. Schiopatino for me, it is, they were so gracious here. They said 2011, one from 1996 as well. This is their first vintage ever, actually, 1977. But they polished off the bottle. We, can, <laughs> we didn't get a chance to taste this one. But th these are wines, especially today, where red wines are big, quite alcoholic, concentrated, beautiful color, only about 12.5% in terms of alcohol. For me, it's almost a blend of if I crushed Norello Muscalese, uh, a little bit of Syrah, a little bit of Pinot Noir together, that's what you get. Anything you want to add? I think sure. what the spiciness and the stone taste and minerality is what's really special for such a light red wine. It really packs a lot of different characteristics in the wine. Yeah, and it's so un it's so nice because wines like this, it doesn't have all a, a big tannic structure, but the acidity, tannins, or everything in balance. This 1996 actually tasted extremely young. I have this right now here, actually. With Schiopatino, I get a little bit more raspberry, a lot of mineral. Some current, some red current as well. Mm -hmm. The mineral grass or base characters really take out, take over. I mean, for me, I'm really high on this. For the '96 and the 2011, and the, the 2011, I'm 4.6 out of five on the vino. I'm 4.7 on the 1996. I think these are excellent wines. They're heavily exported around the world, even though small production. Uh, they, a lot of them make their way to America, so you should check them out. So if you like this video, check out these wines. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel. I'll see you at the next episode.